What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into uh, Race So Wavy. I know I'm late, but y'all know better late than never. Um, I really don't know what this is about. I think it's something with her and Ladesia, obviously. So that's just what we're going to do. Get into it. Let's get it. Heaven. Heaven. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> hold on. I got my car. My car was in a <laughs> All right. Um, the restock suits. If you haven't got your tracking, you're going to get it tomorrow. You're going to get it tomorrow. But if you talk about the hydro green ones, them already shipped out. Yeah, y'all can chat or whatever. Oh, and my like, God. She said already 17 times, and I have to edit this. Oh. At first, I'm like, okay, like, this shit is whack as oh. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to say shit because... Oh. If anybody know me, you feel me like that ain't even a part of my character. And I told y'all that. But I feel like now this shit getting took too far because ah! I didn't know personally, y'all. Uh, I didn't know that <laughs> the incident me and my ex had, I didn't know that she gave that report. Like, I, I didn't know shit about that. Like, I just literally seen this shit, like, being posted. So... I can tell y'all. Y'all know I'm good with the story times. I have nothing too high. You get what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me turn off the comments before y'all start. But <laughs> I have nothing to hide. And I want y'all to know that, like, nothing at all. But I'm going to just go ahead and get into it because I feel like I always, like, show Oh, my shit. God. So Send me that. Everybody seeing, like, the shit with my ex and the incident that we had previously on December the 20th or whatever. So... Basically, uh, we was coming from, I think it was camp, honestly. We was somewhere out, like, at a club or whatever. Okay. And we got into, like, this black truck. Or we got into, like, this Uber or whatever. Because at the time, I didn't have my car. My car was in the shop. Okay. So we got into this Uber or whatever. And uh, we was talking, you know. Uh, like, we was kind of drunk. You feel me? Like, uh, we was kind of tipsy, whatever. We was talking. Uh, so <laughs> she ended up... Uh, I don't know how we got on the subject, but... We got on the subject of, okay, so when, when me and my ex got together, yep. we I had took her on like this little picnic or whatever. Yep. I took her on this little picnic and, sh and I end up, we end up creating like these little like paint paint boards, like what I like basically relationship date on it and shit like that. Oh, uh so I end up hanging them up in my closet, my bedroom closet. And when I got into <laughs> a new relationship, I guess when I was like in my closet cleaning shit up and stuff like that, y'all, the girl came into my closet. Like, I don't want to say names because I don't want to create nobody in it. But y'all know who I was with after Deja. So I was in my closet like straightening up and I forgot they was hanging on the wall because like the way my closet is made, y'all, like when you go into my closet, it's like a little area. Like it's just, I, I really could show y'all like, and I didn't know it was in there. You feel me? Right. But <laughs> anyways, fast forward. Um, she ended up seeing it. So she was like, why the f you got this on your wall? Like, do you still talk to your ex? Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, nah, you know, like, I don't talk to her. I said, you can take them down and you can move them if you want to type. Shit. I'm like, you can take them down. You can move them, whatever. And she like, nah, like throw it away. Da, 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 da. Throw it away. Why are you trying to keep it? Like, you must still want to be with her. Da, 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 da. So me being respectful, you know, I'm just like, okay, like you could throw it away. Like I'm not tripping, you know, I wasn't thinking nothing of it because I didn't think me and my yep. ex would have got back together. So yep. I'm like, oh, you could throw it away type shit. Okay. So she like, hold up, y'all. Give me a second. So she ended up going to throwing the, paint the paintings away. So she threw the paintings away. Back to me being in the black truck. So I don't know how we got on the conversation, but I end up telling her, I'm like, yeah, I don't have those. Uh, I end up telling my ex, like, I don't have the things, like the paintings no more because so-and-so -and -so threw them away. Oh. Boom. That's how the whole night even started, y'all. It was over some paintings, bro. Like, it wasn't even that deep. Like, I feel like she was just drunk and, you know, emotional, which I understand. But she got the going on, like... Oh, that was like our only memory of us getting together. Da, 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 da. But it's like, you got to understand I'm in a whole new relationship. That's what I was trying to explain to her. Like, you got to understand I was in a whole new relationship. You feel me? Like, oh. I wouldn't, I would have been, I would have felt some type of way. You feel me? Like, oh. if I was in a, in a relationship and I walk into my partner's crib and I see some shit with a ex, it ain't like it's a prime picture or something. It's something from a memory of us getting together. So, of course, she's going to feel some type of way. So, I feel like it was valid for me to throw it away because why wouldn't I? You know what I mean? And I was trying right. to explain that to her. I'm like, well, I feel some type of way, too, if I seen some shit 
like that. So, you know, you can't be mad at her. Boom, y'all. She had an attitude the entire ride. Like, she was mad as she started crying. I'm just like, bro, uh, uh, like. So the fact that she had somebody, uh, a girl that she was talking to, sound like Lanasia, but <laughs> a girl that she was talking to after <sighs> Lindasia, Lindasia felt some type of way that she still had the pains in the closet. I am I caught up? I just, I just want to make sure the paintings were not Lindasia's. They was a girl that she was talking to, and they were still in the closet. Correct. I just want to make sure. I don't get it. I just didn't get it. Like, I understand, like, I understand the depth of everything of how me and the girl start talking, you know, and whatever, whatever. But it's like, you have to understand that it was really nothing I could do about it. I couldn't say, oh, don't throw him away because it's going to look like I want to be on some other shit. So she threw him away. Fast forward, we get to the crib, y'all. Okay, boom. We get to the crib. She sits on the couch. I go in the room type shit. So me, I'm still in good spirits. Like we had a good night. You feel me? Like I'm trying to keep us in good spirits. Like I just wanted to turn up. Like I'm just like, this ain't nothing for us to argue over. You feel me? Like I'm one of those in a relationship, y'all. Like I don't like the little, like you can have an attitude, but if it's going to kill the whole vibe, bro, like that shit just like, what? Like, let's just turn up. Let's. I'm not going to lie. Lindasia has an attitude and granted, I don't see her all the time, but I'm talking about when we do see her. She does have an attitude a lot. And that's something that um, Ray has been complaining about since the beginning. Like, she just has a terrible attitude. Have fun. Like, it's not, like, I, like I, I don't know. Like, I just, that's, that was my vibe. So, boom. I go in the bathroom, y'all. So, I get some FaceTime with Travis. Everybody know who Travis is. Y'all don't know who Travis is. I'm always around Travis. Oh, my God. I get on FaceTime with Travis. We get the taking shots and shit turning up or whatever. Shondon, I'm glad this didn't come to my screen girl never because i'm just like i don't want to kill my vibe but or something hella petty <laughs> like i just want to turn up type shit. so boom travis okay. ends up uh we on the phone chatting or whatever mind y'all this was december 20th i don't know i don't know when this was it had to be december 20th so we chatting or whatever so she's still sitting on the couch so i come in i'm like come on like let's take a shot like turn up she like nah i don't want to take a shot I'm like, come on, man. Like, we don't even got to be like this. Like, just take a shot. Just turn up with me. Da, da, da. No, I'm okay. So she gets on her phone to get to talking to her friends. Y'all, me knowing my ex, when she get on that phone and start talking to her friends, it's a deeper issue. Like, she's finna drag some shit, bro. Like, come on now. Like, let's just vibe, twin. Like, everything don't have to end in a argument or attitudes or crying or, like, bro, like, I understand. But it just wasn't that deep to me, y'all. So... Boom. Okay. All right. She on the phone talking to one of her friends, whatever, whatever. So let me tell y'all what I did. <laughs> I know her so well. I'm like, I'm on the phone with Travis. We talking or whatever. So I go in the room. I go in my room and I turn on my fan because I just feel like she was just itching for something like just something else for us to get into it even more, you know, and I know how she feel towards Travis, but it's kind of just like, that's my nigga. So it's just like, it is what it is type. Boom. Okay, I'm talking to Travis. So I went in my room, turned on the fan or whatever. I ain't gonna lie. Relationships never work when one of the friends don't like the girlfriend. It just don't work like that. But, you know, you we only go through that one in our 20s. Now, if you're going through that in your 30s, that's crazy. But in your 20s, that we go through that all the time, bro. But I did Not that. Not we, because, so you know, I'm, I'm mid-30s at this point, but I'm just saying. If she came in a room and tried to, like, basically listen to my conversation i know they i mean i know her so she would have turned off the fan bro like family I know members, her so well so family I, members don't count to me because we i am not about to see you every day so i'll come see you by myself and when we marry each other well you brought this on yourself I turned on the fan <laughs> i went into my bathroom and i closed the doors y'all so i'm talking to travis we turned up or whatever i'm just trying to like turn up have fun whatever so at the time y'all this was when one of my friends was gonna have a birthday in Miami. So I start saying like, you feel me? I'm telling, I'm telling Travis, I'm like, bro, like, you know, we could go to Miami and shit like that. We could turn up, have fun, da da da. da. So we get to chatting about that, y'all. Okay, fast forward. As I'm talking about the like trip to Miami, my room gets super quiet. Mind y'all, I turned the fan on. So when it got quiet, I opened up the door. I'm like, oh yeah, true. Sure I just look. Here she go. Cause I'm finna leave. I'm 
to just leave. Da, 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 da. You just think you so slick. Da, 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 da. I'm like, bro, what? I said, okay. It's like, okay. I'm going to just leave because you think I'm fucking dumb, right? Da, 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 da. I'm just like, bro, like, what is to you, fool? Like, what be to this fool, bro? So I'm just like, but it's crazy, y'all. Before all this happened or whatever, I'm still, mind you, Travis still on the phone. She's saying all of this stuff. I closed the door on her ass. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I closed the door. <laughs> I, this I is the no, other side. Bad, of I'm gonna close the door too. I, ain't I, gonna lie. I just feel like now you just itching for us to get into it. Like I don't want to hear it. L get off my phone. I don't know if she was drunk or it was just emotions was just I don't know what it was, y'all. But I told y'all it started with the pain. What type of stuff? Okay, cool. So I closed the door. She I don't know where she went. I guess she went to go get her stuff or whatever. Travis could vouch. I told Travis, I said, Travis, I'm going to call you back because I know she's going to get on board. I know this girl too well, y'all. I swear to God, Travis will vouch this story, bro. Travis said, oh, my God, okay. Because Travis used to it, too. He done been around when shit didn't happen. Everybody done been around when this girl done been on some weird shit. Like, everybody. So it's like, it ain't nothing to hide. You feel me? So, boom, okay. I hang up the phone with Travis. I swear to God, y'all, as soon as I hung up that phone, probably a minute later, that girl came in the bathroom. Snapping about what the f*** ever. I said, okay, bro, you can just leave my crib. Like, it is what it is. Da -da 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 -da. Like, I ain't tripping, right? She's still going on. Okay, when somebody keep going on and I'm trying to dead the situation and just keep peace and they keep, like, picking at me, you know what I mean? I'm going to get quiet. That's how I am, y'all. Like, I just get quiet because it's like... If I don't, if I, if I do say something, it's going to be the wrong thing. Like, that's how I used to be, like, in our arguments. Like, okay, when I'm quiet, it's an issue. But when I say something, it's an issue, you know? So it just was lack of communication, you know? So I understood that. So I just got quiet. I guess, like, she hates that. You know what I mean? My ex hates that. Like, when she's trying to voice how she's feeling and I shut down. But it's like, if I'm already trying to keep peace and I didn't try to found. We ain't got nothing to talk about, sis. Like, if you keep trying to argue with me, <laughs> I'm not about to argue with you. Every route to make this shit work and you still got an issue, it's no point. You know what I mean, y'all? Like, it's not no working with that shit, bro. Like, I try to work with that girl, for real, for real. So, at this point, y'all, hold on, where was I in this story, whatever? She, she talking to shit or whatever. So, I got quiet. Boom. I said, okay, you can leave. Soon as I said that. Picked up the alcohol bottle. The one I was taking shots with. Picked up the bottle. This girl said, stood on my tub, y'all. swear to God, merch. She stood on my tub over me. She said, bitch, I'll hit you in your head with this bottle right now. How did we go from... Oh, I see why she uh, she got a, a, a case open. Because who? And then that's a glass bottle. Oh, I would have took that like a threat of death. <laughs> you you trying to shoot me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would have took it. Because if that bottle hit my head, you know, that's a, that's a bad time. That's a hell of a threat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boys, you, you, you already know. <laughs> how do we go from, okay, you finna leave to... I'll hit you in the head with this bottle right now. Like, Shoot. come on, bro. Like, what are you supposed to do in a situation like that? Knock like, y'all, I'm not no lame ass, bro. Like, you my girl and all, bro. But me and this girl done had so many, like, incidents to where, like, I got to be on go with her. You feel me? Like, I got to okay. make sure. Because she'll do it for real. She'll do it for real. Oh, so I'm just no. like, and do it I said, bro, you tripping. I turned around. I said, bro, you tripping, bro. Like, just leave type shit. Still trying to be peaceful. Just leave. She get off the table, y'all. So... I'm finna get back on my phone and, shit and call Travis or whatever. So she talking or whatever. I'm just like telling her like, bro, just leave. Like, just stop talking to me. Just leave my crib, fool. This girl done pushed me in the tub, y'all. She done pushed me hard as oh, and hit no. my head on the tub. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. No. After that, y'all, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I, I lost was mad my as fuck because I already tried to avoid this shit multiple times. I tried to put us in good spirits and make you take a shot. I didn't even know on the report. The girl tried to say I was forcing her to drink. Nah, my nigga, you know I was trying to keep peace. And I came up to you and I said, hey, let's take some shots. Like, we don't even got to be like this. And she said, no. I'm like, bro, like, come on. We don't even got to. You feel me? And she said, no. And I said, okay. Only two times, y'all. I didn't. Come on, come on. Let's drink. Let 
I don't have to force nobody to drink with me. That's childish as fuck. So, boom. Uh, when she pushed me to the tub, I got up. She can vouch this. I literally said out my mouth because I. It's like it's like I got an evil twin and an angel on my shoulder. We all like, do, gang. No crazy shit. I ain't even trying to sound crazy. Like nah, we all do. When I got up, I instantly said, "Man, I ain't even finna hit you." I don't know what she said, bro. Next thing I know, my hit her ass. Boom. Evil twin came out, gang. Hell Boom. yeah. It's the fighting. You feel me? <laughs> but you already didn't enable me to do. I mean, you feel me? You already didn't started. Would have had to stole you. You pushed me in the tub and I hit my head. Oh my God, I'm gonna blacked out. Then I'm gonna blame it on you. Push me in the top and I hit my head. Uh, I lost it. I blacked out. Something went wrong. I mean, I hit my head, so there's no telling what was going on in my brain. You might have fucked up my medulla oblongata. Okay? You did this to yourself. When I tried to avoid Devil it, winning every like, time. Hello. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I Voice. was tired, bro. Like, I Can I get a hot tub in the comments? Bro, like, the shit got so just like. Yo, like every time I try to make you happy or make this work, bro, Chai. you make it difficult for us. Like it don't have to always be like this. That shit is childish, bro. So boom, we get to fighting or whatever. We get to fighting. Of course, whooping that ass. Of course, she runs in the kitchen, grab a fork. Okay, you clearly want to shake me, nigga. Like at this point, I'm like, oh, she's grabbing like, a fork. She is grabbing crazy. a fork. So you gonna fork me, bitch? <laughs> So she running, y'all. She running to the kitchen trying to grab the fork. I'm running behind her trying to hurry up because, bro, she it's so many incidents where she didn't done shit or like pull shit out on me or I just be having to, y'all. At any time, I know this. Shit, I know it's toxic, bro. It's bad on both ends, like for real, for real. It's bad on both ends. So I can't say it's one or the other. It's really bad on both ends. But too though, like sometimes her emotions get so hot to where I do feel like she would tweak out and do something to me, like. You never know how people act off emotion, bro. And I feel like her emotions be so high. And she'll say that, like, she really don't know how to control her emotions sometimes, y'all. Which sometimes I don't either. We females, bro. Shit happens, fool. So I understand that. But, like, sometimes she gets to a point where it's like, I do sometimes feel like my ex will do something to me, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Like, and that's not healthy, you know? And... When she was grabbing a fork or whatever, I'm trying to she just slid the fork on the counter. It's a knife in the sink. So I grabbed the knife. You feel me? I'm like, OK, like, let me try to hear but get some before she do something to me. y'all. That's how the knife came into play. You know, she already was trying to grab something to get me. So I'm like, let me hear it and grab some. So she just slid the fork off the counter. I didn't grab the knife out the sink. So I start telling her, I'm like, get your ass out of my house, bro. Like, get the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like. I want serious though, y'all. Like, I'm just telling her, like, bro, you gotta go, fool. Like, you gotta go. She like, okay, da 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 da. This, that, and the third or whatever. She like, okay, like, I don't know. Fast forward, y'all. I'm trying to like, I'm. I'm you got to be a crazy mf. Oh, I can curse because I gotta edit this. Shit. You gotta be a crazy m to wanna stab me with a fork, bitch. Can you imagine? You gonna fork me, bitch, in front of my face? Okay. You just gonna fork me. <laughs> That's crazy, okay? I'm running up to her. I'm like, get Don't out, let get me out, get out. a hold like, on the fork. Tell her to get out the crib and shit, boy. I try to get this girl out of my house, y'all, because she'll do some. Y'all don't understand. Next thing you know, I done f you up. Of this girl, like, doing some wicked shit, bro. All my cameras on my, on my, in my house. Y'all know I got cameras. So it's just like, boom, whatever. So. <laughs> I honestly don't know, like, in between of, like, how we got... Oh, I think she wasn't trying to leave. So I grabbed her, and I started trying to pull her out my house. I'm like, bro, come on. Like, get out my crib type shit. So, boom, she gets to grabbing on me, grabbing my shirt. Da -da -da. I, I don't even know if my shirt was ripped at the time. But she just get to grabbing on me and shit. I'm like, come on, bro, you got to go. Like, you got to get out my crib type shit. Get your ass. So she's Stop. like, uh, like we just we just get to going at it or whatever. She get to swinging on me while I'm trying to grab her. That's I mean, why you want to stay here if I'm abusive anyway? That's how we start fighting again. She starts swinging on me while I'm trying to drag her out of my house. Boom, we start fighting again. We fighting, we fighting. Somehow we ended up in the other room. At this time, y'all, I swear to God, I immersed on my dead sister. Oh, God. She's swinging. I don't know if she bit me in my legs or what, y'all. I don't know, bro. But I had stopped. Like, I stopped. Like, we stopped fighting. I stopped hitting her type shit. So, boom, we just stopped fighting. 
uh, I, I'm standing on top of her. Mind you, I didn't know my hair. At this time, I had my hair down, y'all. So I didn't know she was pulling my hair. Like, she, <laughs> bro, got a good-ass grip on my shit. So I'm just like, damn. Like, I ain't even know, though. I feel like when you're adri your adri what's that shit called? Adrenaline, adrenaline, friend. Yeah, when you're adrenaline running, like, you, you don't know what's far, going on. You can shit. have the house. Right, oh, 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 God. Because okay. I'm going to laugh. Now, that's one thing I will do. If you, if I got to ask you more than twice to leave the spot and you ain't trying to shake, um, I'm going to have to bail so I don't go to jail. Hello. Because, baby. So, I stopped hitting her. You can have the house, bitch. I'm like, just get out of my crib. You know, like, we don't even got to do all this. Like, just get the fuck out. Bro. I ain't going to lie. I would say with the money they be having. I can't even say that no more because they always f up their money with designer and shit. Not saying she don't have no money, but y'all, one thing I will do, <laughs> I will get a hell of a hotel room for the night. That'll be my reason to give me a, a in town staycation, bitch. I ride out the Nobu, go get me a room. It'd be about last time I got a room at Nobu, it was about it wasn't high. It was like three hundred dollars, maybe three fifty. Take my ass down to the bar, get drunk as hell, give me some good old sushi, some lobster roll. That'll give me all the reason to be alone, get my space that I need, and get you the hell away from me. Tear up the house, do what you want to do. I got insurance on it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, yes. You go ahead and do what you do. I'm gone, bitch. Because <laughs> we going to keep fighting, like, leave. That's one thing about my ex, bro. If I tell her to leave, I don't understand. Like, I'm one of those people, bro. I don't do shit until I'm provoked. Like, if you keep coming at me, you don't think I'm going to snap, my nigga? Okay. Like, I know you my girl. I love you to death, fool. But you got to understand, fam. Like, you can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, you just can't do that, bro. Like, you can't keep pushing at somebody and don't think they going to snap, bro. Yeah. Like, that's how she is. Like, she just a keep pushing at me till i snap bro so it's like what do i do you feel me so snap. boom yeah <laughs> go get a room i'm trying to get the girl out of my house i'm trying to drag her she like okay i'm gonna get my stuff i'm gonna leave i'm like no because i i didn't even trust that y'all i didn't even trust it even if she was bro and this is where i say i was wrong because i'm so used to my ex staying and like picking at me or trying to argue i didn't even i i didn't even believe that she was just gonna get up and leave like I didn't believe that shit. I ain't gonna lie because it's just like she don't never just leave like she want to sit here and argue or talk about it while the emotions high like no fool so I'm still dragging her I'm like no bro get out get out get out like get out of my crib I don't want to hear that shit like I don't want to hear it so I'm dragging her out the door y'all this is what y'all seen on the video I'm dragging her out the door I, I already knew when I was dragging her I got the knife and shit, so I'm trying to drag where her where the hell is that video voice you got that video Boom. She didn't, soon as I, soon as I didn't drag her out or whatever, the reason why y'all see me do this with the knife, cause she was gonna get up and try to come back in the house. And I was like, man, get your ass back. You feel me? Like, that's what I did. I didn't throw the knife. I didn't do that. I'm like, bro, get the fuck back. Like, leave me alone type shit. Slam my door. That's what happened, y'all. Like, that's the story of what happened, bro. So her saying like, oh, she's so abusive, da 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 da. Little girl, like you start shit with me bro i never y'all it, it makes me angry because it's like ralph, i ain't never ralph send me that video just up and just hit this girl in her mouth or something y'all like i ain't never done none of that anytime me and this girl got into it she didn't start it that sh it's only one incident my ex did not start y'all and i bring that sh up and i already read through that sh so I ain't gonna lie, it automatically triggered me because that was right when we got back together. And I'm like, nah, bro, there's some sneaky shit going on type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hold up, y'all. Give me a second. I'm like, it's some sneaky shit going on type shit. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't know. So she talking. We, my job, we in the club. This is what y'all seen. That's what I'm saying. I have nothing to hide. I grabbed her ass by her mother. I put it on shirt, Patreon, Sean. And I'm like, dog, stop playing with me for real so i'm rushing her like with her shirt i'm like bro like for real like i'm not playing with you bro like stop and i tossed her ass and she fell that's the only incident i ever up and put my hands on that girl ever and it didn't even like i hit her i grabbed her ass up because sometimes she do too much so i pinned your ass up slung your ass she flipped over the table 
When she got on that live that night, that's why she had them marks right there, y'all, because I grabbed her by her shirt. I didn't ever hit her. I didn't ever punch her. I didn't ever do none of that shit, bro. Like, but I was wrong for that. I can't say that wasn't right, because for real, for real, I think I just got triggered because we was talking about something. That's the reason why we even split up. I mean, right, damn. I just picked the bitch up, slung across the room. That ain't shit. No, I ain't punch her in the face, nigga. I just slung her and shit. <laughs> Friend, this shit good as fuck. Uh, so I just like, I know I was wrong for that, y'all. You feel me? But the fact she's trying to make it seem like after that, any of the other situations. Hold up. I don't know if it, I don't know, I don't know what part y'all seen, but I don't like she's really on social media like, you are abusive. Bro, if I was so abusive, why do you have me tatted four times on you, girl? That don't make sense. Anybody that's whooping your ass, why would you go get them tatted? It don't make sense. It's you got to ask Krishan. I was about to say, because Krishan You got to ask Krishan. The on last one face. she did was the biggest one. <laughs> on her face, it's God, crazy. Man, that shit is dumb, actually. It ain't no being in love, bro. It ain't none of that shit. That shit was actually a manipulative tactic for me to stay around. Like, oh, Hold she on. really loved me. Like, she getting me tatted right here. She getting me tatted right here. Like... Bro, she'll pop up with the tattoos, y'all. She'll just pop up with it. The last tattoo she got, I swear to God, I asked this girl, I said, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, like, be happy. I said, what made you do that? That was my first, I, like, y'all should have seen my face. Okay, the first two, cool, like, it was cute. It was the finger, and then it was the one on the arm. I'm like, okay, that's cute, you know? When we got to the third and fourth, when we got to the fourth one, I'm looking like, damn, like, I just don't understand. Like, but you know me, I'm like, okay, like, she done got me tatted, she all right, whatever. But after the fourth one, I was kind of just like, what the f am I in? You know what I mean? Like, what the f is going on? But, you know, at the end of the day, even after all this shit, y'all, what I can say is, I don't have no ill will towards that little girl. Like, I want her to go be happy, do your thing, I do my thing type but stop trying to put it out there like I just be beating. And mind y'all, I didn't know she did this report. I didn't even talk to the police that night. I didn't talk to them at all. Like, I didn't even know she did that because when they did come, I didn't open my door because I already, y'all, the last time I told them what happened, I got arrested. That's why that report is even on my file because I told them what I did. I told y'all that. I didn't know you're not supposed to tell them what you, she lied. She didn't say she did nothing. So she clearly didn't face like this before i've never got in trouble with the law y'all for real my my record is clean so i'm being honest i'm telling them what i did they like oh well you admitted to put your hands on her boom da, 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 arrested you know what i mean like so it's just like little girl for real stop making it seem like i just be being on you cuz because it, it's never been like that bro i've never faced that in any of my relationships so y'all need to stop putting that out there for real i don't hit women bro i'm a woman myself but with my girl bro i don't i don't beat on my girls you feel me but i will defend myself in any situation if a bitch put their hands on me see I, I used to be like that like i ain't gonna hit a woman until i realized i was a woman so <laughs> after that you put your hands on like nowadays you got a line across you cross that line it's a wrap so Thank God in my relationship, we are not abusive to one another at all. Now, don't get me wrong. We have had a time. That bro that daughter man broke. It got broke like one time. And she she came through it. Um, I had pissed off. But I did. I did. What I did, she had a reason to come through that door. But anyway, um, y'all know I like putting my business out there because don't ever try and say I'm perfect. I don't like being perfect. We two Leos. So understand that we used to get into it, but now we don't. As days, we be like. I don't like what you did to me today, and I think that you should apologize. And she'd I'm gonna like, apologize. I but apologize because I didn't. I made you feel some type of way about what I did today. All right, we love each other, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's literally it. So uh, we learn because we're both Leo. So if we go there, it's gonna be too bad. Like, ain't no coming back. You know what I'm saying? So we can't do that to each other. So anyhow. Where I feel like my life is at stake, or I feel no, like she ain't kicking the door. She just came in that so, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all, you feel me? But nah, she man. Like, and people keep saying like, "Oh, it's too many claims of Ray being abusive." Pull y'all receipts right now. I just got into it with my other ex before Lindasia, and she was whooping my ass literally, and I didn't even put my hands on her, bro. Stop like, doing that. Stop trying to make it seem like I'm just. I don't do that, y'all. I don't hit the girls that I'm with. Y'all keep bringing up Bree. 
Brie kicked me down some steps. She'll say that shit, bro. That was it. That's the only other altercation I ever had in my relationship. I don't fight the girls I talk to. Stop putting that shit out there. Straight up. Like, I don't do that shit. So, yeah, moral of the story, y'all. This girl keep going online trying to make it seem like I'm abusive. Look, little girl, you done already said enough. You done done enough. <laughs> Ain't you with your stud? Leave me alone. Go to bed. Like, stop, bro. Like, for real. Like, she makes me so angry, y'all, because she swear up and down she's so happy, but you keep trying to keep this abuse shit going. Ain't you with your stud? It's crazy. That's, super tough. <laughs> That's the only thing you can hold on to because you know you f***ed up. Like, let's be for real. You know you up. So stop trying to use this abuse shit to cover up everything that didn't happen, little girl. Like, that shit is childish. Like, grow the f*** up. Stand on what you did. Because I'm going to stand on what I did. Like, I don't understand it, y'all. Real shit. But that was the story. That That's what happened. Like, it's nothing major to that shit. So y'all can tell me if I was wrong. Was I wrong? Like, <laughs> Hell no. And I'm technically done with this. But I'm going to tell you right now. Don't put your hands on your partner. Your partner won't have to put your their hands on you. Just like I said, when it comes, this is men and women for me, though. If you got the balls to put your hands on a man, I think that he has the right to defend himself. Does he have to go overboard and knock you out like you're a man? No. But if he fling you across the room, you shouldn't put your hands on him. I'm just saying. Lindasia is four foot nine. This child is 6'3", or 6-something. She's like 5'11", in between 5'11", 6 feet tall. I mean, what did you expect? You know what I'm saying? Stop putting your hands on people in your relationship is all I got to say. You was late as hell. You got anything to say? No, nah, I'm just, that's real stuff, though, because uh, that we're stuck on this stigma. Men should never hit a woman BS that, that gives them the right, the feeling of the right to put their hands on all the men, but not everybody was raised the same. Some women... Used to tell their kids if she put their hands on you, you knock her out. Knock her ass For out. Real. And that's I stand on it. Um So you can't you can't blame how people were raised and what they believe in. No, especially if you got brothers, because that's what it was for us. I ain't always there to whoop your ass because you done hit my brother. So my brother gonna have to defend himself. Right. <laughs> Period. Um, but yeah, that's it. Y'all let us know what y'all think. I am about to react to Ray's pulling that girl into the uh outside, whatever she did. I'm putting it on Patreon because YouTube is not going to have it. So that's what I'm about to do. So y'all tap into the Patreon. The link will be in the pinned comment. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.